Blizzard Aiden gave snowmobile enthusiasts plenty of opportunity to hop on their sleds. But turns out that's only for a while. Trails throughout northeast Wisconsin have recently become quiet and soggy. And as Fox 11's Laura Smith found out, a weather change is causing a lot of clubs around the area to close at least some, if not all, of their trails. Earlier this month, heavy snowfall got snowmobilers revved up for some fun. It's like an early Christmas present for us, you know. But since then, trail conditions in much of northeast Wisconsin have gone from this to this. It does uh, disappoint you because you want to get out there and ride because it is an enjoyable sport. And we only have a limited amount of time to do it. In Brown County, officials have shut down the entire trail system. Unfortunately, because of the lack of good snow conditions, we had to close the trails as of Tuesday. According to the State Tourism Department's website, trail systems in Outagamie and Winnebago counties are also closed. Meanwhile, of the counties in our area where you can ride, just a couple are completely open to snowmobilers. And with warmer temps and rain in the forecast, many of the trails still open will likely be forced to close. Some of our clubs have already started closing trails in advance. Uh, because their trails were marginal at best to begin with. In southern Okano County, trails have deteriorated to the point where riders must head to the northern part of the county. I would say from Surring North, they're still going to remain open, but how long that'll take will be dependent on how warm this gets in the next two days. Our trails are in excellent condition. And snowmobile clubs still operating trails in the county don't anticipate shutting out snowmobilers. We're not uh, looking right yet to have to close the trails. We're being optimistic. Snowmobilers are responsible for checking trail conditions. Riding on closed trails is considered trespassing and fines can start at around $250. In Ocano County, Laura Smith, Fox 11 News. Now the DNR also says snowmobilers should uh, again make sure to check their registration and equipment before heading out. And there is a link to snow conditions across the state available online through the news link section on the right hand side of our homepage.